Welcome back to my channel. It is 8.20 in the morning. Rylan is still sleeping, so I'm just waiting for her to wake up. I had an opportunity to do my makeup and get dressed. Um, if you are new to my channel, my name is Jen and my husband works out of town. He's away right now. And we have a 19 month old daughter and I am pregnant with baby number two who is also a little girl and she is due in eight weeks. I'm 32 weeks pregnant and I have a feeling that she might come early so could even be less than eight weeks. So because of that um, I have decided to, well my husband and I decided to but I'm the one following through since he's not here but we are getting rid of the soother today. Um, I have no issues with the soother. I honestly probably would have kept it until she was at least two or just over two but with the baby coming I you know it kind of falls around that time and I didn't want to deal with the adjustment then because it's not a good idea when you're bringing home a new baby to kind of throw another curveball for your toddler so I have no judgment against soothers I'm all for them they have it has been great for us um Rylan has been a wonderful sleeper and I do contribute that to the soother along with her lovey that she has so all for the soother um but just with timing and everything this is the best time for us to do it now I don't think that I would even have the mental stability to do it when she's two just because of sleep deprivation and that's my laundry um and everything that goes with having a new baby so I'm doing it now and I have researched into slow weaning where you just keep it like for naps and bedtime versus cold turkey and after really thinking about it cold turkey is what will be best for us she is a very strong willed little girl and she kind of needs the message straightforward um so that means no soother whatsoever i know that it's going to mean some crappy naps over the next few days and some crappy sleeps but you know, it's changed. They're going to do that anyways. We did sleep train her when she was about four and a half, five months. So I do anticipate doing it again because of the change. And that's fine. I am prepared for that. I have a feeling it'll take about two or three days, probably three days. My hair is just, I need to get this dealt with. Um, but my hair, my hair, God. I think it'll take two or three days just like when we sleep trained her. So I am prepared for that. I, you know, I'm not going to enjoy it. I, she normally goes right to sleep for her naps. Um, she sleeps great. Like last night she went to bed at 6.30 and she's still sleeping and it's, it's 8.26. And normally I would wake her up at 8.30, but I have a feeling she's not going to nap that great today. So I would like to let her sleep as long as possible. She is kind of starting to move around a bit, but she's still sleeping. With the cold turkey method, I am going to take her soothers and have her and I throw them in the garbage together. Um, she does understand quite a bit, but I mean, she's still only like one and a half. She's not really going to understand all of it. So I do anticipate some whining, some fussing, just overall grumpiness today. And that's totally fine because I know why. She's not just, you know, being difficult for no reason. I get it. She doesn't depend on the soother, but she definitely finds comfort in it. She, like I mentioned before, she has a lovey, so she does have other comfort items that she will have for her daytime, nap time, bedtime, whatever. So that's kind of where we're at. I'm already kind of dreading it, but it needs to be done. I am more of the strict one in my husband and I's relationship so it's best that he's not here for this because I think he I like to call him the weak link <laughs> with these sort of situations um just because he is more of the one to run in and rush in and cuddle her which you know when she's sick that's what we do but something like this you kind of you have to commit to it and you have to be strong and I am the personality to do that um, as much as I hate hearing her cry, I just know that it's best and in the long run she will thank me. So that's what we're doing. Um, I am following the Happy Sleeper Sleep Training book, which does talk about what to do in these type of situations, like removing the soother, transitioning to a toddler bed, all those things. So 
I was reading it and now I don't know where it is. So I'm going to pull it back out just to kind of give me strength <laughs> during her nap time because I think that's the one that's going to be the hardest. Um, and it's where you do like the five minute checks. You just quickly go in, say something and then leave. You don't touch them. So that's what I will be doing today. I think today will be full of getting out of the house for distractions and oh, my lips are so dry. It's like super wintry here. Uh, ooh. Anyways, um, so today's probably gonna be a rough day. I always want to be realistic, so I will show as much as I can without completely um, draining you because listening to a crying, fussing, whining toddler isn't my idea of a good time. But if you're interested in this process, again, I'm no expert. I'm a first time mom, soon to be second time mom. So I'm kind of winging it right now, but I am committing to this cold turkey method and I will be doing the sleep training method that we did before to help her with her naps and sleep. So. We will see how it goes, wish me luck, strength, and um, hopefully we're successful. So these are all of the soothers that I can find apart from the ones that are in her room, which I still have to get. So she mainly honestly just uses these two. These are the MAM ones that are for older toddlers. These are the ones that she never really used. Um, I bought these when she was using the Wubbinub and I kept trying to get her to take these ones, but she just was never interested. So basically just these ones. Um, and you're probably wondering, well, if she doesn't use these, why are you throwing them out? But I think she would use these if she was, <laughs> if she found them laying around the house and was desperate enough to use them, she would. So, and to hold myself accountable, I think it's just easier to get rid of all of them. And then, of course, when our new baby comes, we'll just get her her own. So, that's what we're doing. I think one of the hardest things that this is going to be um, is not being able to have wine at the end of the day um, which is what I was able to do when we sleep trained her because I was obviously not pregnant um, so that's kind of crappy there is wine right there my mom was here for two days so she just left um, and so she had some wine but I of course did not um, so yeah I hear her talking so Wish me luck. Uh, here we go. Good morning. What's that? What's that? Oh my. Good morning. Look at your hair. Hi. How did you sleep? It's like 8.40 in the morning. Uh. Whoa. Mm. What do you see? Oh, Elsa. You see Elsa? Hi. Good morning. Oh, you still waking up? Those are all the books you threw last night while we were reading them. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, you ready? Elsa. Elsa? Oh, yeah. Elsa. Hey. Are you going to be a big girl today? Say yes, Elsa. Elsa, I know. Oh, okay. Let's get you changed. And then we have to do a big girl thing. Uh. <laughs> okay. yeah. You say good morning. You got crazy hair like your mom today. Got crazy hair. Yeah. Um, whoa, lighting. Yeah. You can't see it right now because the soother's in her mouth, but 
she tripped and fell on some concrete oh. in the snow yesterday or two days ago and she skinned her upper lip so whoa whoa yeah that's all your soothers we're gonna put them in the garbage those are for babies and you're a big girl big girl okay yeah you want to open the garbage let's see Come here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ready? You wanna put it in there? It's all gone, okay? All gone. In the garbage. Good girl. Mm -hmm. Throw it in. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa, look. Here's some more. Here. Here, Rye. Rye. Come on. I know, it's just garbage. Here. You put those in there for Mama? Good girl, what a big girl. Yay, with your bunny. Come here. Come here. You okay? It's okay. You ready for breakfast? Breakfast and some milk? Mm. Milk. Okay. Mwah. Can I have a kiss? Mwah. Thank you. I love you. Okay, let's get you some breakfast. <laughs> I did not think... Um, Um, I'm really glad I did my makeup today because I just basically ruined it. Um, hey, how's your breakfast? Is it good? <laughs> um, I did not think I would get so emotional. Um, so ridiculous. I didn't think I would get so emotional about throwing the soother away, but cry with you, right? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> um, I guess it's like I know I'm pregnant too, so that doesn't help. But just that's kind of her last like baby thing. <laughs> Apart from her crib, obviously, but <laughs> I know mama's such a baby. <laughs> Yeah. I know you're doing so good. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I guess it's just more sentimental to me. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I normally don't get upset over stuff like this, so I'm just surprised. Yeah. You got some cut up blackberries and some Greek yogurt. Are you not gonna eat it? <laughs> oh, just a little update. It is now 10 a.m. Everything's fine. Like the daytime, she's totally fine without her soother. Um, it's more just habit of having it around, but she doesn't she doesn't need it during the daytime. But um, I'm really dreading nap time. We're watching Frozen because it's that kind of day. But um, nap time, she usually just goes right to sleep. I lay her down, give her her moose lovey, her soother, and then her thin baby blanket, and she just passes right out um, with her sound machine and blackout curtains, but I just know that that's not how it's gonna be today, so I am dreading that. Uh, I'm gonna get out and do something. We can't go for a walk because the sidewalks are too icy and I don't wanna fall. There's a mall here, but it's not really a mall like it's just a quick one-way kind of place it's they do have a fish pond that she likes to check out but I mean there's not a whole lot to do there but we need to do something to kill some time the library is there so hoping that will help just kind of wear her out before her nap um, I have chocolate on hand for when we go through it so 
that's kind of where we're at. Again, she's been totally fine. Um, she is teething, which I always said that I was going to wait to remove the soother until most of her teeth have come in, but because she is such a slow teether, slow tooth eruption, um, I feel like I would be waiting forever. So, I mean, it's either now or never. So, hey, eat your chocolate cracker. Um, so yeah, that's just an update for now. And we're gonna head out. What are you doing? Get back here. <laughs> <laughs> get back here! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Run, 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 run! <gasps> get back here! <laughs> if you're wondering about a pregnancy update, this is what we're working with right now. <laughs> Feeling large and uncomfortable. It is 11.40 now. Rylan's gonna go down for her nap in about an hour. Uh, we went out. I did end up getting some groceries and let her. Hey. <laughs> you okay? Have snacks, okay? Snack? Yeah? Okay. So, um, she's happy, she's eating a snack. It's 11.45, so she's gonna be going down for her nap soon. I'm going to make her some lunch, get her milk, and hope for the best. Hi! Hi. Uh, she did really good while we were out. But definitely since we've been home, which has only been like five minutes, she's starting to have meltdowns and tantrums, which usually she does that when she's tired, which, I mean, she woke up at 8.30 today, so she shouldn't be exhausted by 11.45, but I do think she is in a growth spurt right now and sleeping a bit extra, so that also has to do with it, and she's teething, so I am gonna give her some Tylenol before her nap just to kind of help things as well, since she's not going to have her soother. Are you talking to Ozzy? Where is he? Are you talking to Ozzy? Hey. You go. You know the rules. Okay, let's get you some lunch and some milk, hey? Hey, bye. What's that? What's me? <laughs> Time for Ned Nights. Can you give him a kiss? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say bye bye. Do, do, do. Say, bye, bye dad, dad. Say love you. Do, do, do. Love you. Okay. Say good night, owl. Good night, raccoon. <laughs> good night, fox. Good night, bear. Good night, hedgehog. Good night, deer. Say good night. Good night. Okay, it is 12.15 and she's already crying, which is not normal for her naps. She just goes right to sleep, so this is when I start setting my five minute timers for five minutes of straight crying and then I'm gonna go in there, quickly say, have a good sleep, sweetie, I love you, and then close the door. So, I'm already exhausted, uh, but this is how it's gotta be done. Um, and even in the book it says like your child is going to cry because this is new, they don't like change, they like routine, um, and it's just a natural way to react. So I know she is fed, I know that I gave her Tylenol for teething and any sort of uncomfortableness. She's had her milk, um, we went out. So I know she is safe, she is okay. Um, I just gotta get through the 
soother crying. Um, so I'm gonna set my timer and then just kind of clean up the kitchen just to keep myself preoccupied and hope for the best. I am setting a max time of crying so that she doesn't wear herself out. You can set your own timer according to the book, but I choose one hour. Um, and that's with me going in every five minutes. I don't just leave her for an hour. Um, but basically at the hour mark, that's when I'll get her up, calm her down, and then try again and restart all over. So that gives me until basically 1.15, which is still a reasonable time for her to have a nap. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. So I went in to do one of my checks and her room stunk so of course she pooped right when I was committed to doing this so I just quickly went in, kept the lights off, um, basically kept it pitch black, quickly changed her and then stuck her back in her crib, um, laid her back down with her moose and blanket and then left. So kind of starting from square one again just because you're not supposed to do that but i'm not going to let her sit there in a dirty diaper so it's now 12:45. uh let me just see if she's still laying down she's being quiet right now she's not crying she's just talking and making sounds and she's still laying down so she's not crying it looks like she might, might go to sleep. Holy moly. It looks like she's chewing on her moosey, her lovey, so. Let's see how this goes. She looks like she might go to sleep. Oh. Oh, big yawn. I think this might work. I feel like Caesar Milan elapsed time. <laughs> um, I guess you could say 30 minutes. It is two o'clock and Ryland just woke up crying. She slept for a solid 90 minutes, which I will take as a success. She slept like 13, 14 hours last night, so I did not expect her to sleep um, for very long today, especially without the soother. Hi! You threw all your stuff on the ground. Whoa. Whoa. That that noise? Hi, how did you sleep? Yeah. Did you have good sleep? Yeah? <laughs> oh. Okay, let's get you up. It smells like you got a dirty butt. This one. You want a book? This one? <gasps> this one? <laughs> and this one? Uh huh. You did so good. I'm so proud Whoa. of you. I'm so proud of you, Rai. Okay, I'm not going to give you all the books. We'll read a book after, okay? <laughs> yeah, you did so good. I am so proud of you. You're such a big girl. Yeah. This is duck and goose. Yes! So we're just downstairs in our basement now. She's just doing a puzzle. Well, throwing the pieces around basically. So she woke up happy from her nap in her crib. She was just playing with books and like pretending to read them and then once I got her up, oh my goodness, she just lost her mind and there was no consoling her. Um, it was brutal. She was, I've never really seen her like that, so I don't know if it's because of the soother or she's just going through something else. But after like 
10 minutes. She finally just ate a pouch and was happy. So I mean, she could have just been hungry, but I kept offering it to her and she it just made her more mad. So I don't know. Either way, she's happy now. So that is a win. We're probably just gonna stay in for the afternoon because I'm exhausted. My camera ran out of room, so I had to delete some stuff. But I am mentally exhausted. Hey, say hi. You playing in your kitchen? <laughs> um, yeah, so today we're just gonna stay downstairs for a bit and then go back upstairs. I'm going to film our bedtime routine and hopefully she goes down easily. Crossing my fingers. Uh, hey, what do you have? A spoon? Oh, you being a little stinkies today. Hey. Say thank you. thank you. You're welcome. Is that down? Is that down the phone? Okay. You say hi, Dada. Answer on the phone. Oh, hi, Dada. Is that? That's Dada. He's saying hi. Oh. Say hi. Hi, Dada. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, Rai. Where's the lion? No, Ra. <laughs> Ra, where's the lion? Uh, Ra. Yes, there he is. Okay, where's the crocodile? There he is. Uh huh. Where's the giraffe? There he is. Good job. It's five o'clock or quarter to five. I am going to start making Rylan's dinner because she's getting a little stir crazy and she's probably hungry by now. So we're just gonna do some vegetables and chicken nuggets for her. I'm just exhausted. Um, nothing to do with her, it's just me being pregnant. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm probably gonna eat my dinner later just because I'm, I'm like on the verge of a headache and I'm not even that hungry right now so just gonna feed her let her play some more that's when she'll have her bottle of milk bottle sippy cup whatever you want to call it and then we're gonna do bath time and bedtime with no soother Wow that's so pretty on the paper <laughs> you ready for dinner Woo! You got some broccoli, cauliflower, and chicken. You ready? Rylan is asleep. She cried on and off for 30 minutes. So I went in a couple times and then she threw her lovey and her blanket outside of the crib, but I didn't want to return them because that defeats the whole purpose of sleep training and her falling asleep independently. So 
that was really hard for me not to do um, but at 7 30 she just stopped crying and literally just sat in her crib and just like looked around she sat in different corners didn't make a peep and then just as you saw now she is laying down on her own without her blanket and without her lovey so um, I'm gonna let her sleep a little bit longer and then I'm gonna go in and quickly put those in there um, without waking her because I do still want her to have them I know during this adjustment period she's gonna start throwing stuff out of frustration and hoping that I come back so that is it for our day just a brief little look at a day in the life especially during this transition thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for more pregnancy updates and I will update on the soother situation